Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to be covering the Octopus Electroverse card. Now, I do recommend if you have an EV or you're about to get one, you get the Octopus Electroverse app, you set up an account, you ideally use my referral link, and then I'll get five pounds and you'll get five pounds, and um, order a card to your address. You can keep this card in your EV, you don't have to keep it in your wallet, and this will start the majority of charges. You pay for it if you are an Octopus Elect um, Energy customer um, on your direct debit, or you can pay for it um, via credit or debit card through the app. So it's an extremely simple system. You can start the charges using the app or using the card. And this video will be covering starting charges with the card. Uh, I went out um, and went to all the um, chargers that I, uh, with networks I know are compatible with Electroverse and I used my card to start a charge. And I went to all the networks I could find and, um, you know, documented that process. There are a few networks that don't support Electroverse just yet. Um, the biggest one is Tesla. And then there's PodPoint and ChargePlace Scotland. And then there's GridServe. Now, GridServe don't have an app. They don't have any RFID support. Tesla do have an app. Um, a few of their card readers support contactless debit card. And PodPoint, pretty much you can only start on an app. And ChargePlace Scotland are just weird and just obtuse and annoying and I have big problems with Charge Play Scotland, actually. You have to pay for a car and it takes ages to turn up and all sorts of stuff. I'm sure um, once you've got it all working, it works perfectly fine. Um, but, you know, come on, Charge Play Scotland, um, just sort that out. Um, now, why do I prefer using an RFID card to any other payment method? Well, I have problems with card readers taking card author pre authorization charges, um, contactless bank card, it does work very well when it works. Um, but when it doesn't work, um, it can be extremely frustrating. It literally, yesterday, um, I was at a grid serve charger, tried to start a charge, it took the pound out of the account, and then the little pay terminal didn't talk to the charger and say, yeah, I've taken the money, the pay terminal has crashed. Um, now, grid serve are great because they acknowledge this as a, as a potential issue and they only take a pound but some networks take 45 some networks take even more than that you have a few failed transactions you can end up with a lot of money pending transactions money you can't spend in your account i view that as a problem i've seen it where um, my electroverse card has worked and the contact list hasn't across several charges at a site um, and i had to use my card to start several charges for um, this person <laughs> bumped into and they had a bank transfer me the money. So um, I made this video to show A, how easy it is and B, how it just seems to work at all chargers um, seamlessly um, and you're not reliant on an app on your phone or signal or battery or any of those things. Um, you just tap the card and start the charge. So let's have a look at how it went now. I'm here at a connected curb charger. I normally use an RFID card of my own to start it on my Connected Curb app, but let's try it with the Octopus card. So, Connected Curb at uh, Octopus, that worked fine. It's charging good. Okay, so we're at an Aldi um, with a shell recharge. Annoyingly, someone's parked in the wrong bay. It's definitely not an electric key, but there we go. Please authenticate, it says. So, oh, that's good. They've changed it left and right. Very good. And I think that's working. It seems to be working. Yes, it's working. We are charging. So there we go. Don't actually need to charge, but it does work. So that's really good. So that's two have worked. That 
that's two out of two so far. So we're at MFG. And same thing again. I think you tap first. I don't think it actually particularly matters. I do wish these weren't so heavy, but I oh know that's kind of how the technology works, but there we go. And that looks like it's work. I mean, it's so easy when it works correctly. It's just so simple. I know it takes a while to actually charge, but it's really quick to to set up. I mean, you could. Yeah, it's definitely working. Straight in there. It's a bit boring, isn't it? I'm not going to do every single charger. Um, but um, I will probably do multiple sites on the same network, but it, it works. It's, it's working fine. I mean, it's not charging very fast. This is the other point. We're at 84% and it's limited in terms of power. So I suppose in theory, this charger might not be putting out full power, but um, the car won't charge any faster above sort of 84, 85, it slows down. I'm at Morrison's in Canterbury, and Morrison's have Genie Point chargers, which are notoriously rubbish. Um, but they do support Electroverse, so let's try this one. It says to plug it in. And I think this is quite a new charger. I'm going to tap my RFID card. Mm. Somewhere. Aha! Oh, I've got to choose the option, I see, yes. Connector A. Huh. Well, that's really boring. It, it just worked fine. Check it actually does charge. Made the noise like it was charging. To be fair, I, I, I would imagine it's charging. Yes, it is charging. There we go. Look. I mean... There we go, look. Charging. So even uh, Genie Point works fine with the card. So, uh, yeah. It's all looking quite depressing for people who say the chargers don't work. Okay, we're at uh, McDonald's here in uh, Thanet. And McDonald's have a contract or something with Instavolt. So you get lots of Instavolts here. So uh, I'm going to try that. Uh, tap card. Oh yeah. Okay. Card is authenticating. Card is authenticated. Presumably, I'll plug it in. No, I need to tell it what I'm plugging in. Why me? It's connecting. It's playing a video, that's interesting. Yep, it's communicated with the car and it's outputting some power. Sounds good. Yep, that works great. Okay. We're still in Thanet. This is a Marston's pub and they have a agreement with Osprey. So we're going to try that. Octopus card again. Select my connector. I have to say, this is all very uneventful. Vehicle and press the start button. Um, so far, um, all the charges I've been to have worked, uh, and they've obviously I've only gone to ones that I know take um, Electroverse, but all the Electroverse 
charges have worked. They, none of them have been broken. Um, I did go to one, uh, which I haven't shown, but there was a car there. So I didn't get a chance to use that as it was busy, but it was a single 50 kilowatt unit, just like this one. Uh, yeah, that, there we go, it's, it's working. So, sh all very boring really, isn't it? These are all the ones fairly local-ish to me. Um, there we go, that worked fine again. This is Thanet Parkway Station and they have connected kerb here. I know we've done one connected kerb before, but uh, gonna give it a go anyway. Okay, let's uh, plug the car in. Yep, and that is now charging. Been quite boring this. So this is a sandwich, it's a Euro garage site. Uh, so you've got Shell and Asda. Um, that's unrelated to McDonald's and Starbucks. And we do have a dead charger. This one looks completely dead. No sign of life. So I'm obviously not gonna try and use that one. But let's use this one. Tap the card. It's annoying because there is a like a sequence. Some machines use the RFID reader separately, some use the card reader. Uh, some you have to connect the car first, some you have to scan your card first. Um, but here we go, it's working perfectly fine. I mean, look at that charging speed. Okay, it's stopped. Why has it done that? Oh, we're going back up again. Good, yes. So um, this is the only dent charger I've found, but we do have three. So it's just one out of four that's uh, not working. And, um, yep, this one works just fine. That's working no trouble at all. Okay, so that was a roundup of all the chargers that I could find in my local area that support um, Electroverse. I obviously didn't go to the networks that don't support Electroverse. What would the point in that be? Uh, you know, that would be silly. But, um, yep, Octopus Electroverse does support a lot of networks. Um, as you could see in, in the app, it worked flawlessly, apart from on connected curb, where um, some of the RFID card readers were a little bit iffy. Um, but, you know, actually it goes to show, I went to all the chargers that, in my local area, that are supported by Electrofer. So, I didn't go to chargers that I knew were working, I went to all the ones that exist. One of them had a car charging, so I couldn't try that out. That was in Margate. Uh, didn't document that. But they all were online, they all worked, and they all charged my car. And in, it was f a flawless experience. You know, apart from there's a kind of, oh, do I plug the car in and tap the card, or do I tap the car, the card and plug the car in? Apart from that minor thing, it's so easy. Um, all of the transactions um, are showing in my account and that money will just go onto my uh, direct debit for um, Octopus. It's, it's easier than paying for petrol, it's quicker than paying for petrol, um, and it's simpler than paying for petrol. Um, you know, what's not to love? Um, so long as you don't lose the card, it's just a no-brainer in my opinion. It's, uh, it's great. So I'm a real fan of this. Please do use my affiliate link. I will get a fiver. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, 
there's something in it for me, um, and obviously I'll get ad revenue off the, this video um, from YouTube, but you know, I'm, I'm saying this because this is really what I think number one thing you can do if you've got an EV, and the number two thing you can do is use the um, Electroverse route plan. If you're planning um, a journey where you're going to need to charge, don't just charge, just don't just wander along and hope you'll find a charger. Use um, an app, the Octopus app does work um, pretty well, and there's a better route planner, which is, I found, fantastic and very good to use. So, um, you know, a little bit of forward planning, and you'll find that EV driving is, in my opinion, pretty straightforward. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, do like and subscribe. Um, I'll be making my usual mix of um, EV videos and just random stuff that I found interesting as well. Um, so thanks for watching.